I'm gonna show you how to play You Wreck Me. There's a lot of parts to this, so hang in there. I got you. I'm gonna go through it fast and then slow and make sure you know what's happening. Stay tuned. It's only a few chords, but there's just so many parts and tricky nuances. I'm gonna give you a couple cool pro tips on the end, so make sure you stick around to the very end. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is put a capo on the first fret, and let's go ahead and launch. We've got a total of seven parts to cover. I'm gonna cover them individually and allow you to piece them together. If you want the full thing, it's on my Patreon. Okay, so here it is, intro. <laughs> So the it's basically D, A, and E, okay, in that order, and that E kind of takes up, you know, uh, a full measure, if you will, compared to D and A, taking up half, if you want to think of it that way. Basically, the first part is really simple, this intro, it's just D, A, E, two, three, four, D, A, E, two, three, four. You're kind of jumping those beats a little bit, by the way, which leads me to my next point. In the second half of the intro, it kind of picks up. There's a little bit more momentum, more rhythm. Now you don't have to get as busy as I'm getting, but I'm kind of skewing this to as if you're gonna play it by yourself. So you probably do want to get a little bit busier. Keep this arm swinging is a secret, but also here's overall kind of the rhythm that I'm doing for most of the song. Down, down, up, down. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down. D to A to E, E, D, D to A, E, E, D. Okay, and that's your intro covered. Here is your verse. So the verse is actually the same as the kind of second half of that intro, it's just D, A, and E. I'm gonna go and play the whole thing, I'm gonna break it down. So again, that rhythm kind of staying consistent, keep it swinging. So it's just D, A, E four times. And I'm kind of hitting the lower part of that E. Just kind of keeping that momentum, keeping the rhythm. And then I switch it up. I go G to D to A. Now I'm kind of keeping the momentum on the A. Again, G to D to A, 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 back to D. on the next part. So that's your verse, by the way. Um, so it's basically D, A, E four times, and then G, D, A, G, D, A twice, and then D, A, E two more times. Kind of a little bluesy structure in a way. It's kind of interesting. And then there's the pre-chorus. So intro, verse, done. After that is your pre-chorus. Easiest part of the song. That's the good news. This is G to an A. Right? So... By the way, you might be asking, well, he keeps playing this, and he does this sometimes. Which one is it, man? Doesn't matter, okay? Pick whichever one you like on that A. Okay, so this pre-chorus is pretty much just G to A. However, you want to build it up a little bit, especially if you're playing solo. So you'll probably go... Yeah. Right, I'm kind of building it up on the end, right? Then you've got your chorus. And good news, we've already pretty much covered the chorus. It's essentially just DAE with more maybe volume or pep or, I don't know, power. Right? And it's just four times on that first chorus. Now, listen for the track on the end here. He'll do that whole thing twice, but e either way, it's just DAE. Lots of power, lots of volume, have fun, slam it, okay? All right, so we are down to our final three parts. 
So that all will repeat. It'll be another verse, pre-chorus, chorus, and then you get yourself the bridge. The bridge is really with power, I'm sorry, bar chords here. I'm gonna go out and show you two ways. I'm gonna show you the easy way and then the way that I think is being played on the track. So here's the easy way, fast. Right? It doesn't quite sound right to my ear, but it does work and it keeps you kind of here with easy open chords. So it's C to G to C to G, G to C to G to C to G, G to E to A to B to A, A, E to A to B to A, A. Right? So it's still. It's kind of this overall swinging, driving rhythm, but it's a little bit trickier. It's actually just very fast. C to G to C to G, G. Now I'm C to G to C to G, G. Then to E to A to B to A, A to B to A to E. And then you're on the solo. So the way that I'm hearing it, those with bar chords, bear with me. Here's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing it's... It doesn't really matter. But either way, those are just bar chords adjusted for the capo, of course. Same exact everything or relative to the capo. I'm on the third fret for C to G. C to G to C to G G. Back to C to G to C to G G. Then to E. And that E's up here relative to the capo. One, two, three, four, five, six on the seventh fret. E to A, just down here on the fifth fret. Then you've got your solo. Hey, this is an easy part. Are you excited? Because it's just the same thing as your chorus, but with the actual solo. Now, if you want me to teach you the solo, I'd love to make a video for that. This is not that video, uh, but comment below. I'd be happy to knock it out. I read every comment, and I try to reply to as many as I can, and I definitely love taking requests. So if you want that solo, I'll do it for you. It's not Actually, it's not that bad. Anyways, but here's underneath that solo. down a little bit right okay so then it, basically it's just like the it's just kind of a intro verse again if you will it's just real quiet it's real just soften it up it's the same parts right verse kicks in Kicks in a little bit. G to A. G to A. G to A. Okay, get back to your pre chorus. A. Then chorus. And he'll double that last chorus. All right, so kind of got all that. There's all kinds of stuff happening. And then on the end, they actually do what's called a coda section. You can call it an outro, it doesn't matter. Here's what it sounds like full speed. Okay, so it's a little bit of a callback to that kind of quick uh, chord change of the bridge. So if you've got the bridge down, if you figured that out with the rhythms with me, this will be a piece of cake. It's back to the actual uh, D, A, D, A, E chords instead of this big change. C, G, I know is a tough one. So this is actually even easier if you got the bridge. So here it is. It's D to A to D to A to E. D to A to D to A to E. Four times. Now I know I'm kind of just going through this really fast, but again, if you want lessons, uh, you know, this is something that I do. I would definitely reach out to an instructor if you're really struggling because there's just a lot of quick changes and it, that rhythm can get a little bit weird for complete beginners. So take your time. Big hint is my A is always an upstrung. Down, down, up, down, down, up, E, right? 
that might help because I'm jumping that beat there. Anyways, and that last E is just let it ring out and that's the whole track. Thank you so much for tuning in, you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Please like, subscribe, become a Patreon member. It really helps me out, helps the channel, and uh, also gives you access to some cool extras. Also, I am definitely taking on students. I'm not cheap because I do this all the time, but if you want some lessons, I'm probably available. Thank you.